What if you could install multiple applications without having to download and run each setup individually? That would be cool, right? Now imagine a free way to do just that. Today, I will show you how, and it's really easy. There are multiple solutions for fast and easy installation of applications or application packages. Basically, all of them work in the same way. Here is a quick comparison of four of the most popular ones. Of course, I'm going to put all the links in the description. At the end, I'm going to tell you which one is my favorite and how to use it to make your installation life much easier. With approximately 4,900 applications, Chocolaty has the largest repository of these four providers, although the margin to the next two is not huge. Contrary to some of the other providers, Chocolaty requires you to install their own client before you can use it to install other applications. I think the main reason for this is the inclusion of various additional management options that Chocolaty offers. The client installation is straightforward. If you're managing 10 or more machines, this might well be worth it. Personally, I don't have that need and I'd rather not install anything that I don't need. Chocolaty offers three different plans. For most people, the open source version should suffice. If you want to benefit from the additional features in the pro version, you need to pay a subscription fee of approximately 100 US dollars per year. The full business plan costs 1,600 US dollars per year. The next option is Scoop. It is an open source solution and completely free. It offers some 4,500 applications in what they call official buckets. If you were to include unofficial ones, that number jumps to almost 28,000. What I'm missing here is the option to create my own installation packages. That means to group the applications that I want, save them under my profile, and then install the whole package as needed. Ninite has the smallest repository of all the providers in this video. There is no official number, but the full list fits on a single screen, as you can see. Similarly to Chocolaty, you need to download and install the Ninite client. Ninite comes in a free and a paid version. The price for the pro version starts at one US dollar per machine and month. You can use the calculator on their website to predict the cost for your own scenario. Option number four is Winstall. In their repository, we find more than 3,700 applications. You can install individual apps or pre-made packages. You can view package contents, install the package, or pick individual applications. Winstall does not require a dedicated software or client, but works with Windows PowerShell. This is my personal favorite. Let me show you how easy it is to use. But before that, I recommend creating a profile on Winstall so that you can create and save your own packages. Individual apps and existing packages like the ones I linked to in the description can be installed without having a user. To create a user on Winstall, you need a Twitter account. Just click the login button and authorize access to your Twitter profile. Next, go to the repository and select any applications you want to add to your package. Note that you need to select at least five apps. Once you have what you want, click on Create Pack. Give the package a name and description, select whether it shall be public or hidden, choose a color and confirm once more by clicking on Create Pack. And that's it, easy. Of course, you can always modify an existing package by adding or removing apps. All right, let's talk about installing applications and packages finally, starting with individual applications. Go to the Winstall homepage, click on the application you want to install, and from there, just copy the command. Then run a Windows PowerShell window. By the way, I am using Microsoft PowerTwice here to start PowerShell. This is a very useful collection of features. I recently made a video about it and will link to it in the description. If you don't have or want PowerTwice, you can of course find PowerShell via the Windows Start menu. Once you have the PowerShell window open, just paste the command which you just copied at the prompt. Follow the setup instructions and you're done. So that's all very nice. But Winstall really shines when it comes to installing packages of applications rather than single ones. The process is very similar. Go to the Winstall homepage and find the package you want to install. This can be a pre-made one or it can be your own. Winstall offers multiple ways to install packages. For me, PowerShell is the best approach. Click on Get Pack, select PowerShell and click Download.ps1. This is going to download the script 
script file. Run or go back to the Windows PowerShell window. Navigate to the download location and execute the downloaded script. Make sure to keep the PowerShell window open as long as the installer is running. A quick note here. If you get an error that running script is disabled, you need to do the following things. Restart PowerShell as an administrator. Add the command prompt type get execution policy. If this returns the value of restricted, then enter the command set execution policy unrestricted. When prompted, confirm with Y for yes. Once this is done, navigate once again to the download location and execute the downloaded script. Follow the setup instructions for each application, if there are any, and you are done. While the Winstall script is running in the background, you can do more productive things. When all is done, just type exit to close the PowerShell window. And that's all there is to it. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments. If you found this video even remotely helpful, perhaps drop a like or even subscribe to the channel. For you, it's free and it really does help me. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.